Hello everybody and welcome to the Amateur Hour. I am Craig and we are back here with Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. Um, uh, when we left off I had just arrived at the Great Palace. Now I've done a little bit of exploring around initially just to kind of get used to um, the, the layout a bit and get some idea what's going on here just so I'm not fumbling around mindlessly. So if it seems like, hey, you know a little bit of what's going on. Yeah, it's because I did a little bit of scouting, uh, but then came back and said, okay, we're going to start this from scratch and see how we can do. So. We'll come down here and we'll go this way, right? Yeah, and we Firebird. I'll just run away from that. Does a lot of damage. Okay, and this one I fell for a couple times. Uh, there's a one invisible hole in the floor um, right here, basically, where I'm about to walk, and you have to go down and fight some blobs. Can I just say, a game that gets a lot of shit, uh, Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, and they talked about invisible floors and how annoying it is because then you have to take your holy water and you're throwing it at your feet the entire time trying to find out where the holes are. I would argue this is actually worse. It doesn't happen often, but you don't have an item that can test the space in front of you the way that Simon does. So uh, it's kind of a, when you first fall for it, uh, and in my case, the two times I fell for it, it was like, well, okay, this is kind of crap. So I don't know. It's everyone's judge, I guess. This spot caught me off guard. Um, I was like, oh, this looks like perfect for something to come at me, but it's just a giant bridge of not a heck of a lot of doom, so okay, I guess. Uh, we got to, I think, a firebird. Ow. There we go. Now, I tried this last time They uh, to see if there was magic. No, nothing? I got a guy that I thought that came out of here last time I tried that. Alright, now this part I thought was crap. You know me and Medusa heads and things flying at you. Um, having to fight your way through the bricks while also watching and avoiding... Um, Medusa heads. It's a fun time. Okay. Just got out of there. I'm just gonna choose to not. You guys can just do your own thing. Or is it? It might have been here, actually. So there's two two or three secrets in the walls you can go to, like this. Where there's a bird, and you're like, oh, I wonder if he has a thing. Now, this time he gave it to me. There we go. Um, the other times he didn't, and he just uh, spawned enemies at me. So, you know... That was a good time. And then here there is like a big, the big version of the invincible flying heads, I think. Yeah, this guy. Kill him. There we go. Do I still have jump? I don't. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Okay, well, so I got some magic back, which is not nothing. Um. Okay. What did we do from here? Ow. Okay, die. I don't recall this. Let me just... Where was the map that I took here? I went through there. Went through there. 
Oh no, I went the other way. Okay. Sorry, I went right, not left. It's like, I don't recognize this at all. So let's go this way, I think it was. Yeah, because that one, actually, she fell off the screen the first time I fought her. Ow! Okay, this was the other spot that I, um... Thank goodness. Okay. I kid you not, that one also was, um, one of the red bird things when I went through. And I was like, this is impossible. Okay, if this is where I think it is, uh, so the first time I went through here, you encounter like a blues version of the soldier guys, and it's really hard. Um, so what I did is I just kind of built a, a spot for myself, like right here I think it was, where I can just like wait for her to jump up. And it made it much easier. See? I tried fighting her down here and she just whipped me. Come on, there we go. Okay, oh, destructive things. Yeah, no. Not a chance. Okay. It's just a fiery thing, if I recall correctly. Oh, no, it was that. I just ran away from it. Okay. Those things aren't too bad as long as you're on the same plane as them. Oh, my God. Whew! Oh, God. Oh god, still following me. Is there any other whole thing? Oh, more whole things? More magic? I could use more magic. Nope, that's one of him. Okay, that's not good. Okay, let's go right. Ooh! That could have gone badly. Okay, so I got my life back, which is good. Now can I get some magic? Magic, please. Yep, I'll take that. All right, three lives now instead of two. Oh, shit. I... Oh, I would have absolutely kicked myself if I'd wasted a life on something stupid like that. Okay, okay. Let's get down to here. Okay. Uh, did I go right or left? Uh... looks ugly. What's this way? Kind of hoping she'd drop magic, honestly. Okay, and I know about this. This is like the... Excellent. Okay. Bye, I, I don't care that much. Okay, I'm just gonna do this periodically. And then you fall down here.
Okay. 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 Now, just due to um, my exposures on the internet, um, I know about the Thunderbird thing. So, um, I've seen this fight before. Haven't done this fight before. Um, do I have enough magic to cast that? I don't! Um, so I can't hurt her, so I just die. Okay, I guess I just die and... Die? There we go. Death! Okay, but I got lots of lives. Lots of lives to try this. Shield. Jump. Thunder. And it leaves you with basically not enough magic to do much of anything else. There you go. Ow. Okay. Just get away from the fire. Get away from the fire. Holy crap, that's a lot of fire all of a sudden. Die, 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 die! Oh my god! Come on, come on! Son of a! Okay. Very good attempt, though. What I'm finding is working is I'm focusing more on the fireballs than the than her, and I'm just attacking her whenever the chance comes up, but I'm focusing on dodging fireballs. Ah, oh, that was... That, oh, no. That's a terrible way to start. That should have hit. Okay, I'm... Uh, this isn't good. I'm just feeling there's a lot of times where a, a hit should have landed. Oh! Come on. God, I wish I had enough magic left for a heal. I'd feel so much better if I had like some kind of backup. There's nothing else here that really helps. No. Okay. That all went well. So I'm just focusing on this. Focusing. And to answer the question, you're probably asking yourselves, yes, I know about this last part. Yes, I'm going to cheese it. I have no honor. I've never beaten this game before. I've never been here before. I'm not, not chancing it. Can't hit me. Come on. You can't do it. You can't do it. I'm right here. Can't hit me. Oh. I didn't know he could do that. It's okay. He didn't do that much damage. Thirty years since I first played this game? Honestly, I don't even know what to say. I was never expecting to get to this point, and... I've done it! Granted, that last episode had a lot of cheese, 
a lot of fury. I think it was worth it to be able to check this one off and be like, because I've beaten the first Zelda, I beat this, I beat Link's Awakening on Game Boy, I beat Link to the Past, which are kind of my four quintessential um, Zelda games. Do I just sit here and... Well, the credits probably won't be that long. I don't know how long I should keep the video going past this point. Um, Yeah, if any of you actually watched this and stuck with me, thank you. I'm so glad to finally have this game behind me. And now at least I can try the randomizer knowing the overall how everything fits together. I still think that magic pot thing is a little crap, but got through it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'll play next. I don't think I can go right back to playing even a different version of this game. I think that some of those end boss monsters are, or end boss monsters, end dungeon monsters are ridiculous. But who knows? I guess we'll wait and see. Um, thanks a million! <laughs> uh, no. I assume it just, if I do that, it just kicks me back to, like, Zelda's room kind of a thing? Okay, back to the art. Thank you all very much. I hope you enjoy this to some degree. And uh, talk to you later. Bye!